It is us, the normies. Back to watch more Better Call Saul. This is season five, episode four. Now my stay. Or now my stay. Hey. You know how it goes. And then uh, I I don't have that much of an Indian twang uh, as much as you you guys do. How do you properly say namaste? Namaste. Uh, you just said it. Namaste. Yeah. Yeah, you just said it. Is it, is it, right, is it cool. namaste? It. Namaste. 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 Yes, namaste. 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 I mean, nah, uh, or no, no. I, I've heard like if you, I, I've heard like some uh, dialects get like really kind of proper with it, like namaste. Namaste. That, that, that's normal. It's it's either namaste or namaste. Yeah, it's like interesting. A, it's also season five, episode nine of another show. Just it's not <gasps> get it's out of here. I'm just let's saying. Not get lo- let's not lo- <laughs> let's not get lost off the track of what we're watching right now. Uh, <laughs> oh God! Yeah. Those, that was that doesn't. <laughs> well, it's been a little bit since we watched, guys. What's going on? Uh, 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 what's her name? Kimmy? Kimmy might just be just as uh, bad as Solomon. Oh, dude. She, she's yeah. bad. She's so bad. Remind me what happened in the guy. She was trying to coax. She was trying to coax that guy out of his house by like making up some fake. What yeah, might be a fake story. It could have been real, but it, it, he called her out on it. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. Let yeah, the yeah. man live in peace in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, um, I remember, and that guy was really well cast too. Like, well, why don't I just spread my legs and you can give me a swift kick in the balls? <laughs> <laughs> that guy is uh, Mr. Frederickson from Up. He just refuses yeah, he was, to get was, rid of his house. He was perfect. For he, that he's part. in the, the ranch. The ranch. Yeah. The ranch. Hey, so you know that scene? Uh, that scene with the uh, ants or whatever, you know, that that was not CGI, by the way. What? Samuel Mooney pointed that out for us. Yeah. In the comments, he said that that was not CGI. They actually got an actual ant wrangler in and, like, uh, <laughs> ring. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. That's like, so they, cool. Yeah, so, they, they, I That's mean, hilarious. Bro, Yeah. That guy was like, I've been waiting for this. I wonder I I how many gigs that you need get. This. I wonder how oh, many gigs man. a year he gets. Like, how do you like make that a living? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, one gig smart. pays for like five yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, for an ant specifically. Like, I can see if it was like a dog or a horse or like, but like, yeah, how many gigs are ants getting? <laughs> you never know. Some kids would be like, <laughs> oh, I want to this ants for my birthday. Or they, or they put up an ad on like Craigslist and it was like the first guy to respond that had an ant farm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hey, it might have been some sort of alien. But song. no, it was it was impressive, and they shot it with like a very dope ass macro lens. Yeah, they, they were they were very uh, on it with it. I don't think I don't think this this is a squad that uses CGI. No, no. put that out there. Uh, All right. Just... Well, this isn't a market substitute because guess what? We have bought this on Amazon Prime the whole season twice over. So we can all twice. watch it on different devices. <laughs> That's how much we support the official release. Yeah. And uh, yeah. support us on Patreon, yeah, please. please. Please support us on Patreon if you can, and if you would like to get early access episodes and uncut episodes, it helps us exist as a channel. YouTube AdSense gives us pennies, people. So this is the only way we are able to function. And if you can't do that, like and subscribe and comment. That is more than enough. And we Thank are you. going to continue. We're doing our best, guys. I know sometimes you get frustrated. We don't uh, pick up on all the nuances in the show, but we're loving this show. Uh, I guess all I can say we're enjoying the shit out of it. Um, Fuck we'll, yeah, man! We'll try to you know try to correct us if we if we mess things up, but I think for the most part we got a good grasp on the yeah. I feel like we're I feel like we're good. Yeah, man. I mean, <clears throat> shit. We're not rocket scientists back here, fam. You see the name, the normies. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Can't believe that's an antique. Damn. What are you doing? It still looks like that. That still works. It's like ancient for us. A flashlight TV. Oh my god, yeah. Remember when they used to put TVs on like everything? What are you doing? Ooh, nice pressure hey, rice that? cooker right there. Yeah, you, did you ever have a portable TV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But there were like some kooky shit too, like that camp, like for camping, like they had a flashlight and a TV. Hey. A Buddha. He wants to throw something heavy at something. But I don't, like, what is, he, what is he doing? How much for this? Five dollars. Five dollar. I feel like to go for thirty. Thirty, 30 uh, for bowling. Seventy-five for all three. <laughs> it is a. Uh, it is fun to go to like uh, the flea market though. I haven't been in years, but 
It was just They're like a hot. So fun. It was just a hodgepodge of just anything and everything. They keep showing their morning routines, and now they're like all I don't know. Like past ones, they were all like very efficient and like lively, and like more and more, they're just getting more and more. Yeah, don't worry. About just it. lazy and shit. Yeah, good observation. That's what you pay for. Slowly losing their energy, and their drive. Okay. Good. Oh yeah. Hopefully, it will be Finally. Short and sweet. <laughs> Where did he go? Okay. Let's start at the beginning. Somehow you two are short on prior. So fifty percent off. Fifty percent off. Public urination. Fifty percent off. Meg's just calling you. You gotta answer. Oh, holding too long, you get kidney stoned. <laughs> oh, these are the uh, same tweakers they, uh, that. Uh, yeah. 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 Fifty percent off. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just just made that connection. So for my time, court costs, filing fees, four grand. All in. What about fifty percent off? Fifty percent off. They got lawyers here. They got to be able to pay nothing. Three <laughs> lawyers, public defenders. <laughs> oh my god, these guys are fucking. These guys wild. are so fucking stupid, sorry, bro. <laughs> you, you go ahead and play Russian roulette with a public pretender. You're gonna end up doing public a pretender in Los Lunas. You twerps even know who I am? I am Saul Goodman. Okay, you think 4K is too much? Yesterday I got paid 8K just for the afternoon. You know what? He's overselling now. Uh, come on, man, don't be like that. Man, we're sorry, yo, we're sorry. Uh, you, we, 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 we want to go with you. 100%. Please, sir. 100%. 100%. <laughs> He's 100%. <fucking> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jimmy has swindled several people more intelligent than these fucks. It's just no chance. Worse. <laughs> but also, he's, that cash is he's right, though. They're not going to get another deal like this. Anybody have any Yeah, well, they're dumb. They don't know that. Saul Goodman. Am I allowed to call you Jimmy? Uh, Saul Goodman is my professional name. My friends still call me Jimmy. You can too. Well, tell me about Saul Goodman. You can too. Saul Goodman is, uh, he's the last line of defense for the little guy. He's a writer of wrongs. He's a friend to the friendless. Couldn't Jimmy go do all that? Ooh. I understand why you changed your name. It's not right. Him and Henry McGill did you wrong. We should have hired you. When you got barred, or when you brought a sandpiper, both times. I should have shown some backbone. It would have been the right thing to do. I have a cleansing moment of clarity. Power. Be nice to him, man. Good for you. He's being nice. He didn't fucking talk about Chuck. What do you mean? I missed an opportunity with you, and I think it's time to correct that. Oh. Damn. I'd like you to come work at HHM. Too late, too late, bro. Damn, too late. Howard too is such a good late. guy. Damn. Nope. But, Howard but is such a good guy. My pride yeah. would be like, so fuck legitimate. off. Fuck pride. Like, come on. This, shit, this, this, this is perfect. Us. At the scholarship committee, you spoke about that young woman. You stood up for her. And when you kicked my ass last year, you weren't wrong. You say what you mean. Liars. I would love to work for Howard, man. Be in the wrong profession. Look, Howard is a good dude. For me. You don't wait for things to happen. You make them happen. HHM is growing again. It could use someone like you. Get him, okay, get him, aww, Howard. Okay, okay, oh. Hey man, I'd go work for Howard. Jesus <laughs> shit. Howard, you're at the answer right now. Let's just enjoy lunch, but do me a favor. Live with it for a bit. Okay. Kim will be upset if he doesn't take it, man. He, man, this could have been the choice. Be jealous. He's not going to take it. He's not going to take, take it. He's not going to take it. But like, this no, could have... Like, but he'd be a fool not, not to. But, but, he's I mean, not Kim, because of the pride and everything. Like, how does he feel short of space in that but, company? But, 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 but Kim has a lot of drama with HHM, too, so I wonder how she would feel about it. She'd probably want to take it. Nah, bro. He just, Thanks he so just complimented the shit out of him. Good he said all the right things. Thanks for taking the time. Good to see you, Jimmy. Jimmy is just like his country. He's young, scrappy, and hungry. Oh, it's a hug. <laughs> dude, Howard's a, he's just a good dude. Bro. Howard's a good dude. The thing about Damn. it, though, guys, Howard's such this, a good this guy. could have been the I, president. This I, 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 he's I, the I best feel bad guy. I ever, I ever thought guy. bad of him. I know. This could have been the choice, guys, that would have changed no, a lot of things for him. <laughs> he's changed. This could have been, <laughs> been the bro. thing, guys, that would have, like, Maybe change a lot of things, for him, bro. But oh man, Howard, Howard has actually, actually a lot of movements that would have changed a lot of things for him. Howard has actually like grown and changed his opinion and like evolved. Whereas Jimmy, I don't know, he probably calls himself evolved, but it's different. I think we need to reconsider the other contender. Lot 2375, the vacant lot with flooding problem. Since we won't need a redesign, we could be back on track in a matter of two to three weeks, maybe less. Are you saying that we lose three weeks and what, eat the cost of the land that we already own? I know this isn't really my department, but according to our own projections, what are you the doing, land Kim? we already own 
were more than double in value. She's always she, trying to help the lesser yeah, people, she, man. She's trying Could to save that guy's lot investment. by moving it to a different lot. Jim, let me ask this real plainly. Is yeah. lot 1102 our land or not? Are we in the right? As far as the law goes, yes. All right, then. Well, I said it. I didn't let anybody chase me off. This fellow wants to make a fuss. Well, it's our land and our right to do with it what we want. Yeah, all right, then. That's that. She I tried, man. She tried. This is what, like... She gotta stop doing this stuff for like uh, your job's on the line all the time now. I feel. What are you doing here? It's Thursday. It's my day. Maybe it's better if you just sit this one out. I'm scared. Of it. I lost my temper. That's it. You just let me talk to her till no, I'm no, sorry. No, you gotta, fine. you gotta work she that trust back. About tonight, I think you should let Emily babysit. I think I'm okay. I wouldn't tell you I was okay if I wasn't. And if Kaylee brings up Maddie. I'll be okay. You've been working so hard. You deserve a little break. Let you get back to yourself. Get back to myself? Ooh. Oh. Something's going on with you. I don't know what, but I'd be more comfortable if you didn't sit for Kaylee for tonight. Damn, he's shitty. Oh, pop, pop, pissed. Gotta respect the mom, man. Hey, Jonathan Banks yeah. is... He's amazing. amazing. He's really good at this for family. Is the person who robbed you present in the court today? Let the record show that the witness has identified the defendant, Mr. Safety. Your witness, Mr. Goodman? I can't wait to see him get out of this. So you say, a man came in and he reached across the counter and uh, he grabbed up the money from my register and run off. And there was no one else in the store. And since the camera system wasn't working at the time, you're the only one who saw the perpetrator. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> no, he's gonna have to show yeah. off. Sounds like it happened pretty fast. But you say he got a good look at him, correct? And it was dark out. Well, he's the only guy that came in that night that wasn't made up like a bat or a cat or whatever the hell those guys are. And he was right up in my face. Right. If, and according to your testimony, you feel confident that you can identify this person. That's what you're saying. It's him. Are you sure that's the person? There's no doubt in your mind. Take your time. <laughs> now, would you be surprised to learn, Mr. Harkness, that the person you just pointed to is not the defendant? What? Then my client is in the back of the courtroom. Mr. Sagey, would you please stand up? Objection. Now, the person Whoa. you want to is named Hollis Early. He's a bartender down in the land. Oh, damn. He has a very good alibi for the night in question. Is this even possible? Oh, Mr. Good night. <laughs> 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 little wow. snake in the grass. Oh, he's, he's a good. Uh, he's good. Fuck. Games. Ladies and gentlemen, the jury, we're going to call it a day. I will have very specific instructions for you tomorrow. And as always, please refrain from discussing the case until then. And I will see counsel in my chambers. Oh, wow. <laughs> Man, that's that, that dope, bro. Uh, is he, are they allowed to do that? Like, uh, why not? I, <laughs> I don't know. Can he, like, technically they're not uh, arrested. They just, just like have to show up. They're not arrested yet, right? So he can, I, I don't know. Yeah, is that allowed? Was that like... It should be, but I don't know. Oh, he's it, it shouldn't be allowed, that was quick. but technically he was he's not there. arrested, you know? Nobody even recognized him, not even the judge. Two sweetest words in the English language. This trial. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Get the fuck. <laughs> this fucking guy, okay. that was it's fucking really good. Okay. I have a case in Tucum Carry, and there's something I want to discuss with you. Tucum Carry. Damn. Damn. He's getting that Saul Terry. Goodman help, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mr. Goodman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are they are in the This is acceptable to you. Uh, Sean did a good job. Uh, Lyle. Lyle, your face is about to be that fire. Nice. Nah, it, 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 it. All right, Mr. Now a little closer. Yeah. I think I see maybe I will take care of it. Yeah, I'm sorry. They cast that. Lyle sorry. so perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> so he's this, he's that guy. <laughs> Gus needs to get a fucking life. <laughs> he has a life. And He's one of the big business. What are you talking about? And one of the underground uh, oh, business. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. I mean, he needs some hobbies. Yeah, Hank and Gomi. That's a weird word. He does. Like Dutch. I think they're going to kill him, bro. I don't know. It's not French. I can't believe they're back. This is awesome. You ever hear anyone walk around talking about the majestic culverts of Spain? Who the hell goes around talking about majestic Why culverts? <laughs> Their conversations are always the fucking best. I love yeah. them. I hate what happened to them, man. Killed by Nazis. Colbert. That was a Dutch word for crash ride. <laughs> Colbert. Uh, 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 
<laughs> Crotch rot. Don't get nervous. It's nice and relaxed. Take your mind on Make your left hand every night. <laughs> You can go home live. I, I can get the strike you, sir. Please, if you would like to take another one, then go ahead. Thank you. Damn, Gus is unraveling too. It was like frazzled. spotless. <laughs> it was like there was nothing. Like what else can be clean? It's, he's, he's slowly unraveling as well. He needs him as an alibi. That's why he's doing this. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Smart motherfucker. Good, uh, uh, yeah, good observation. <laughs> There's no way so, that that camera is taking quality pictures. Yeah, that, and Lyle is probably thinking right, like, like what the fuck, bro, that, like, there's nothing. It's like, it's transparent, I've cleaned it so much. Yeah, you're right, bro, at, at this time, cameras had, very, like, very poor low-light performance. He got spooked. No oh, man. Damn, I wonder what gave it away. This is this is all on purpose, bro. He's, this is all on purpose. Gus wants that guy to get caught. What's he doing? Yeah. You don't know where he's going. I got a feeling. Did he just I never thought. I never thought uh, oven cleaning could be so fucking intense. It was just some guy and he got spooked and then they started chasing him. Oh, it's running. Yo, this is great. <laughs> ah, the oven cleaning his tits. We need a we need a buddy cop show with uh, Hank and Gomi. Yeah. <coughs> this is great. Traitor! This is all planned. Well, what do you say, Gummy? Let's spelunk. Those guns are gonna be sl fucking loud in there if it doesn't need to pop off. He's the. Oh my gosh. 696. 698. Damn, he lost them easily. What? Did he left that much money? Yeah. This is all. This is all part of the plan. Yeah. We talk about other crime tonight, bro. Come on, man. We got the money. We got the douchebags who did the drop. We got three assholes in cuffs. And we put Molina back out on the street. Who knows what else he's gonna scare up? Yeah, we go up soon, go we not down soon. That is crazy. What he said, like a, like a. All right, everybody. Like cartels have so much money that they can like give up small amounts of little breadcrumbs to make them think that they're. I just want to thank you all for a successful operation. We got ourselves a buttload of money. All right, just shy of a million dollars. So some major dickwad of a deal is hurting tonight. Show my appreciation. We're all going no meals and first round's on me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank y'all. That was great. Hank for president. Hank for uh, president. Miss Hank, man. See, so he's such a good dude to work with. Ah. Uh. All clear. And the money. Uh, give Lyle a fucking razor bonus, I know, man. Sure. Just about to fight. Thank you, Lyle. He's like out of breath. He's like, so is um, it, uh, is it? You think it's okay? It's clean? It is acceptable. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I would be so fucking shitty, bro. <laughs> we don't oh. need a Lyle, okay? My god, I would be so shitty. I fucking Lyle, but that, man. Uh, this Lyle is acceptable, or it is acceptable is also kind of a double meaning to the loss he just took. Like, it was all part of the yeah. plane. Nah, clever. Man, Mickey. Kim clever. sent him in. Kim sent y'all. Mm -mm. Who the hell are you, Mr. Acker? My name is Saul Goodman. I'm a I'm headed up to here with you Mesa Verde scumbags. Get back. I'm not representing Mesa Verde. In fact, I'd like to represent you, sir. I don't need a lawyer. I don't want a lawyer. Oh my God, he was so so in. Just, please, just take a look at my proposal, okay? Because I think you'll find it persuasive. I don't just want it. Just look at it, sir. Just look. 
man fucking a horse. What? <laughs> Sir, I hate I hate them looking down at us from their glass house. They think they can shit on whoever they want. And we just yeah, have to just smile and say thank you. Look, yeah, you know he had one me? shot. He's a man. And Mason yeah, Verde man, as a man fucking horse. Fucking great, dude. <laughs> he knew he had one shot. Bro, he's just a great ever A man. Fucking horse. No wonder Howard wants him. Uh, visual aids? You'd be surprised what you can find on that internet. So, Chinese flag? <laughs> yeah, on that Kim <laughs> put him... Wow, dude. Kim is... Kim put him up to this, but Mesa Verde knows they're in a relationship, so if he ends up representing this guy, there's gonna be a conflict of interest. Like, what are you doing, Kim? Like, Yeah, no, I'm not no, sure no. what the plan is here. Me neither. I mean, they're Maybe not Kim married, bro. She just, she, just can't, she just can't represent, basically. It's somebody else's school. But I'm just saying, bro, she's smart. I know, smart. But, 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 like, he's been to Kim's office party, so they know, like, when they see Stahl representing him, they're gonna be like, wait, you're going out with him. Like, you know, there, there's still a conflict of interest somewhere in there. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Oh, the bowling ball. I don't need it. We'll finally, the bowling like ball. Yeah, maybe he was maybe trying to trip over or something. Yeah, maybe he's trying to trigger the motion sensor. Perfect ball. <gasps> What the hell? Who's out this? Oh, the big dude, big dude, rich house. Dude, hurry up, he's out there. Oh! Fucking Howard's not What the hell? Why is he doing this? Why are you doing this? Why? Fuck you, Jimmy. Why? Oh my god. Dude, that's Howard is such a nice guy. Why does it have to happen to Howard? But, wait, did we see those things like out of order then because he bought that shit at the beginning of the episode they didn't have their lunch till later so was this premeditated before I, so or did we just see that out of order before. I think that just means Jimmy was always gonna do that <laughs> like yeah, he, he, he had the lunch planned with him it didn't matter what Howard would have said at lunch Jimmy was always gonna fucking do that yep. I guess why that's <laughs> I was leaving what the fight. fuck's wrong with you bro like I, I, Howard's I, done I, nothing I, wrong I feel like that Britney Spears <laughs> meme like <laughs> leave <laughs> Howard alone <laughs> He's picking for a fight. Oh, he might kill him this time. No, remember he didn't, beat them didn't up he already last mess time? with these dudes? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's why like, he's not that same dude. Fuck. He might, he might kill him this time. There's too many of them, man. Oh, uh, yeah, no, he, he, he's not going to be able to. He did this on purpose. He wanted to, he wanted to get this beating. Yep. What kind of fucking group of hoodlums beats up on like an older citizen? <gasps> He, he, he just got just stabbed. stabbed. Yeah, he just got stabbed. What? Yeah, did he just get stabbed? Yeah, he did. They he stabbed, stabbed him. Like, you guys aren't tough at all. You guys are they fucking, fucking worthless scum. Like, why would wow. you even First of all, you beat up an old ass man. Now you stab him? What the fuck? Well, they probably went to jail and he helped clean up the neighborhood a little bit. I thought he wanted to Oh, you didn't go to the hot. Are you not? Where He's is he? He's at a church. Where is he? Church. Yeah, he church. You should be in a. What? Did he self fucking. What what happened? Who the fuck? Is he in Mexico? He's in Mexico? What? That's what I thought. He okay, so I think like I mean obviously he's working for Gus, so he must be keeping tabs on him. Yeah, so he Gus had a man on so, him. So those, yeah, those, those, those dudes are dead. <laughs> they died. Yeah, and they then did. he probably got taken to Me he, he got taken off the grid to go get fixed. Yeah, I Gus, mean, I'm, I'm pretty Gus sure that's what happened him, because he's, and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it makes sense because otherwise he'd be in a hospital. Like, why is he in? He was a, definitely in, a friggin... in like Mexico. No. Was... Yeah, like there's who else could pull that off but like Gus? You know. I'm surprised Mike would have uh, Mike would have known if someone was tailing him. So he's really off his game now. Like, or did he I mean? to go like, back on purpose to pick a fight? Oh, I mean, yeah, he, he obviously did that, but he would have known that Gus had a man on him, tailing him, if this is what happened. Because clearly, there's no yeah. other way he would have been taken to Mexico right away. If Mike wasn't slipping and, you know, kind of like, 
he wanted himself to get beat up there. He wanted to babysit Haley. Like he's uh, he's just not right in the head after all those things. Like his daughter-in-law called him out on it. And Gus also is kind of. I thought he was slipping because he was telling Lyle to do that, but I guess it's all going according to plan. To me, it feels like all the characters we're watching are kind of like are slipping on edge right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah everybody. I feel like series. everybody's on edge. I mean, because Hank Gus and Gomi are on scene. Yeah. I feel so bad for Lyle, man. Gus with him, she was some shit. And I mean, say, like, good job. It's like, it's acceptable. Go home. <laughs> this, <laughs> it is acceptable. Like, Maybe wow. it would have been suspicious if he would have said good job. But also, like, to what Mickey said, it was it was acceptable. The $700,000 loss or whatever that he did to... I know. 700k, bro. That's just acceptable. Jesus Christ. He can wipe I mean, his ass, bro. Man, just acceptable. When it when it comes to the when it comes to the drug game, bro, like you're, it's like you you already know that you're gonna lose a, a certain amount of money. But the thing about it is, you make so much more that like it's just yeah. it's just a cost. It's like he he, he gave you know? up the he gave up the seven hundred there, while simultaneously probably making ten million somewhere else. Yeah, that's crazy. Exactly that it, that seven hundred thousand dollars he just put in there is like an investment for him to make more money in the future. It hurts right now, and it's a loss that wasn't necessary for uh, per se. But it's, it's it needs to be done for insurance, and sometimes you gotta yeah, pay that insurance. Acceptable. Yeah, shit's fucking amazing. I like it. Um, but it's called breakage. The whole Hank and not really, but yeah. yeah. Uh, the whole like Hank and, and uh, Gnomes and everything—they're awesome too. I, yeah. I wish we had more of them. And like, and the, the part that sucks the most is like, you know how uh, Hank uh, was like, man, I wish we would have went up the river instead of down the river. And it just sucks that he goes so far up the river that it ends up taking him out, bro, which is so fucking yeah. crazy. Because this, this is, all of this right now is just all just the precursor to, like, everything that goes down, bro. And he, I just, he, Hank just never knew how close he truly, truly was until later on. I mean, he goes too, up river eventually. Like, he he found yeah. out with Gus. Like, he, he kind of caught Gus. Like, he, he figured yeah, he's that out like on his own. credit. But, yeah. Uh, he didn't get credit. It's crazy how close he was. No, he's the one that got credit, I think. Yeah. Well, like, he, like, put the pieces together and realized that, like, Gus was, like, the friend of the DEA. And, like, you know, in Breaking Bad, he kind of linked Magical Electromotive and all that stuff. But then, like, he, oh, no, he yeah. when he, Heisenberg. He when he got caught. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when he no, when he when he got when he got caught, like uh, I think it was like episode five, they were like, "Yeah, man, you were right. You knew it all. Like Gomez, everything. Like they were just like Gomez was the one that told him that shit." Mm-hmm. It's fucking. Um, it's just it's just it's just really really good to see like everything kind of full circle yeah. in a mm-hmm. crazy way. It is nuts how like all these characters are connected. Like we saw Mike, you know, get into it with Hector Salamanca in, like season two and shit. And like being able to go, it's just such a coincidence that all these characters had these run-ins with each other. But I guess if you're in oh, New Mexico, yeah. if you're in like Albuquerque and you're in this like shady underbelly of like the criminal world, it's gonna be an ev- it's gonna be a small world, regardless. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, you, like, you're gonna you be would know with those people. You would know who the dons are. You would know who the bosses are. The ones you can and you cannot like. I want to know that was why it. Jimmy. So he, he was at the antique store. He was, like, deciding what to mm-hmm. chuck over... What to chuck? <laughs> what to chuck over uh, <laughs> the fence to Howard's car, I guess. But... Yeah. But, like, why? Maybe he was taken aback by was... the offer at lunch still. So he was, like, thinking but about no, that. But, no, that. Mickey's right, though. Like, he bought those before lunch, no, right? No, and I, yeah. also, like, I... The, 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 <coughs> yeah, and he, he bought that before lunch. And on top of that, like, how do you knew that, like, you know, he was going... That the launch was gonna go bad. Like I, he wanted to do that to Harbor Beach, like you know. Regardless of the launch or not. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No matter. That just what, sucks, yeah. man. Like you lied to him. You lied to him about like you know fucking Chuck's death. Now you're like throwing shit at his house, and that man like gives you compliment, tells you like you know we should have hired you, and apologizes for every like not having him back. What did he lie to? Him, what did he lie to him about Chuck's death? No, like, I mean, like, uh, like, uh, not lie, basically, like, make him take all the blame. Like, he's, like, putting, like, Yeah, like, you know, Chuck, like, yeah. like, yeah. like, like, the suicide. Sorry, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. dirty, bro. I was just, like, I'm just, like, all this stuff, like, like, bro, like, and man's, like, literally apologizing for not standing up for you back in the day, and all that shit, and saying that you can make the company better, and you're still gonna throw a volleyball in his car! 
I know why. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. The man got novice down his car. Make sure now, he's now, too. now, 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 Howard, now Howard has every right to be mad at Jimmy, and Howard does not. Like Howard could go after the crap to Jimmy, and I don't give a fuck. But, but he doesn't know. Howard knew half the shit. If Howard, he doesn't know. If he only knew half the shit, dude. Only if he knew half, not even like all of it. Like a fourth of the shit, he'd be like, "Fuck off." Oh yeah. But he was right. Yeah, Jimmy's yeah. young, scrappy, and hungry. Like he would, he would have been a good asset to have on the team. I think. At, I think at that point, even if he did get hired, Howard would have been fine with Jimmy's antics too. Seemingly, like this, yeah. kind of like what he was saying, he would be fine with Jimmy kind of skirting the corners and everything because he gets stuff done. So like, I mean, I'm a little... even when Jimmy's offered everything, like you know, to his liking, and given free reign to do what he wants, he's still just like, nah. He's like a rebel at heart. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. a rebel at heart. Don't make no, sense. man. He's just like he's just putting like a lot of his emotions and everything. Like he's connecting a lot of like Howard and like like that company and all that shit with like together for some reason. Like that's his outlet. Howard is so it's just sucky. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, the whole Kim but, thing. Like I don't understand how Jimmy's gonna represent Mister whatever dude ranch or whatever the, the hell. The thing. Called. Like I know they're like. They're dating and stuff, but technically they're not like married. I know it's like inter in, like conflict and everything, but it's still like I, there's still like it's still, like enough like, like gonna, you know, leeway. Like Kim's clients are gonna know that she put him up to it because what a, what is the what a coincidence? Why would Jimmy no. go to Tukumkari? Why would he go to Tukumkari yeah, exactly, to exactly. represent yeah. this? There's no, there's I don't no think con- they're gonna know. Do, yeah, there's no would. conflict of they're good. They see him. They see him. I don't think they're gonna think Kim put him up to it. Yeah, no, no, it doesn't matter whether they think that or not. Yeah, it doesn't matter whether they think that or not. It's just not a good look because like. It, 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 there's no conflict of interest, but it's just like, huh, this is kind of weird. Yeah. Your boyfriend yeah. is defending this guy's lot, the same lot that you tried to convince us not to do. And it's just, it's just not a good look. Like, yeah, I, I don't, mean, I don't know what she's thinking. I mean, she should have not tried. She should. I mean, no, she tried both. But like, if she just went to Saul immediately first, it would have been better. But like, since she told them first, kind of thing, she was trying to go like the truthful way first which is you know admirable but it didn't work out for her i guess it's like it's that dude whatever. needs to leave like they offered him money they're they're the most in, they're in the right as far as the law goes so he can fuck oh, off yeah, like, that guy's lived for him, there forever but... though and now you have another lot that's like she offered that other law which sounds awesome it had like mm-hmm. flooding and they had already owned this current lot so they would have been set back a few weeks like they they talked it through <laughs> It was just a better financial decision to continue with this lot. And, like, she was telling them, like, oh, you can just hold that other lot for, like, real estate in the future. But, like, they're not in the real estate business. They're into expanding their whole Mesa Verde, like, She tried. She She, tried. She tried. She tried. The dude in the house just needs to blow up a bunch of balloons and float it away and go to Paradise (laughs) Falls. (laughs) Old man. (laughs) House. Um, the beginning scene was hilarious, so the fifty percent off guys. So like, I ain't doing no rehab. <laughs> public defenders. <laughs> public defenders. Yeah. Public defenders. Public, public, public pretenders. Dude, I also like um, the way uh, Jimmy, aka Saul, like explained who Saul Goodman is, and it's just like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's you. Also, the uh, court scene. The court scene was very, very <laughs> memorable because that was a very, that was good. <laughs> That was Are you funny. sure this guy? You sure? <laughs> well, it's not. Uh, <laughs> fucking sneak. I was wondering, like, what's he gonna do here? Like, how? Yeah. And yeah, just to. How is he gonna win those this? Those two guys, the fifty percent off guys. At, that was 100%. like. percent. I think this is the first, not the first time, but this was like quintessential Saul Goodman. This is like how he would act in Breaking Bad. Like, look, I know some yeah. not so reputable rehab places that'll give you certification for not being there in person. Like he's he's really looking out for them, but he's not really helping them be better people. No, dude. You know no he's, he's not. Nah, he's nah. the lawyer you want. He's like the criminal lawyer, but yeah, I don't know. I hope that he, one he, night he, of fun he, was worth it. I bet it was because they got off pretty scot free. Fifty percent. No, it, it was two nights. It was just the second night they didn't get their shit. Yeah. Really though, man, that shit's actually like. It's like more like ninety five percent off, bro. 
out of five years and only getting like yeah. what five months, six months? <laughs> right. Yeah. That ain't yeah. nothing. Be sucking his dick, bro. I'm gonna be like, what? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Should have not gone out to begin with, but. Yeah. It really does, dude. Sometimes it really, really is about the lawyer you have, man. I'm not. I'm straight up fucking for real it's what the lawyer have and, and like the connections they sometimes have to with like the judges and everything and shit shit honestly dude it's... like there's a reason why expensive lawyers are expensive lawyers yeah. bro it's kind of sad but it's the facts so <laughs> I can't believe none of us became lawyers <laughs> I wanted to become a lawyer but uh none of us became lawyers or doctors I you know any sh- of the I can know, believe regular it. brown people <laughs> yeah. yeah I can <laughs> yeah we're those, those people shit. <laughs> we're, we're the black doctor. sheep of the family. We're we're that one brown group that's like, no, no doctors, lawyers, yeah. <laughs> engineers. Uh. Not even an engineer in this group. <laughs> yeah, one, hey, Nikki, suck. Nikki is. I, a, I th- hey, I think I think we all tried at least a semester of it, and then we were all just like, nah. <laughs> no, no. I did do engineering. I, I, did, actually, I did. I did. I was actually like in that medical assisting course to see if I wanted to be like a nurse or something. I just dropped out. Dude, I did. I did a semester of. Uh, Bi- biomedical engineering and I did a semester of trying to become like a fucking uh, lawyer. I remember when you were studying for the lawyer thing. And I was trying to get the LSAT and I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna coast on through with this uh, poli sci degree and see what the world where the world takes me. <laughs> and here I am, world, how's it going? <laughs> but we, we Dude, know I've had we know I, bro, people. I've had several people tell me yeah, that I wouldn't amount to shit. I uh <laughs> I, I, did, I, did, asshole. I did pre pharmacy and then I said nope. And then I went back and <laughs> tried pre-pharmacy again, and then I got to, like, the last two weeks of the semester, and I was like, nope. And so, <laughs> here, I, here we are. We all tried, man. We all tried. We all end up doing what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> all right, guys. We love you. We love See you. Guys did you try time. to, did you try, are you a lawyer out there? Let yeah, us know. Man, let us know. Who's, who, who's, who's doing let the law stuff? Your, if, do you, do you know, are you a lawyer that's connected? Let us know. Let us know. All right, Namaste. y'all. Peace. Bye. Namaste. Bye. All right, bye. Thanks for watching Breaking Bad with the Normies. Check us out on Patreon for early access and uncut content. Special shout out to Aaron, Desiree, Eleanor, Explorin' Dylan, I Eat Pink Tacos, Joe, Jules, Light Yagami, Michael, Nick, Puffy, Quentin, Ricky, Ruby Tiger, Bystander, Tristan, Keyboard Junkie, the NYR fan, and ZJP, and we'll see you all next time.